It's an online resource that helps anyone traveling around the world. People of all ages are now signed up. Go online and create a profile on the website of your choice. The host can provide tips and introductions in the local area. Careful reading of the member profiles is essential. You need to think about what you're going to shoot. What sort of people are going to watch this? They'll help you to organize all the different parts of your stories. But the more prepared you are, the more able you'll be to deal with the unexpected. Many actors undergo an intensive period of training.
Coral reefs are one of nature's most magnificent creations. It is filled with thousands of unique and valuable plants and animals. Over one quarter of all marine species depend on healthy coral reefs. Humans also depend on coral reefs. These marine ecosystems are the primary source of food and income for millions of people, a vast repository of valuable chemical compounds and medicines, and a natural wave barrier that protect beaches and coastlines from waves and storms. Coral is actually the exoskeletons of coral polyps. Made from limestone, these skeletons build up over time, forming the reef. New corals are born each April. At a certain hour on a certain night, mature corals suddenly release clouds of eggs and sperm into the sea. After the fertilized eggs take root on the sea floor, they can grow up to fifteen centimeters per year. Coral reefs are present in the waters of over one hundred countries. These are warm, eighteen to twenty-nine degrees centigrade, shallow, sunny regions, primarily between the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn. Only clear, warm salt water can support a coral reef, and because sunlight is crucial to the reef's survival, the water must also be shallow. Well, in Australia, the design of postage is in the hands of Australia Post. In Britain, it's the Royal Mail that looks after stamps, and it seems that both countries have a similar approach to the production process. We discovered, to our surprise, that it can take up to two years to produce a new postage stamp. Why is that? I hear you ask. Surprisingly, it can't be all that difficult to design a stamp. In fact, it isn't. But it seems it's a lengthy business. Firstly, they have to choose the subjects, and this is done with the help of market research. Members of the general public, including families, are surveyed to find out what sorts of things they would like to see on their stamps. They are given a list of possible topics and asked to rank them. A list is then presented to the advisory committee, which meets about once a month. The committee is made up of outside designers. Graphic artists and stamp collectors. If the committee likes the list, it sends it up to the board of directors, which makes the final decision. Then they commission an artist. In Australia, artists are paid one thousand five hundred dollars for a stamp design and a further eight hundred dollars if the committee actually decides to use the design. So there's a possibility that a stamp might be designed, but still never actually go into circulation. If you are looking for a mild climate, a relaxed atmosphere, and a lot of culture, Brisbane might be the place for you. Its sunny cafes and offshore islands attract surfers and sun lovers. But it is also the arts capital of Queensland, with many museums and art galleries.
This thriving artistic setting mixes well with Brisbane's beach town atmosphere. Together, these two qualities make Brisbane a very desirable place to live. No wonder since 1980, over a half a million Australians have moved here. Brisbane is now Australia's third largest city. English settlers living in Australia established Brisbane in 1842. At that time, more than a hundred thousand Aboriginal Australians were living in Queensland. As the settlers discovered Queensland's resources, more and more of them moved in. Regretfully, the settlers drove the Aboriginal Australians from their lands. By 1859, Brisbane had grown into a prosperous city. In 1988, the world watched as Brisbane hosted the World Expo. This international fair showcased new technology, but it also showed off the city of Brisbane to the world. Oil is used to boil, or to fry. What is the best way to revise something quickly, making notes? Or writing each and everything? Which equipment is used to calculate the numerical values? If the car is running at the speed of 100 km per hour, is it running slowly or fast? Which command is used in the mobile phone, to remove an unwanted file from its memory? What do we usually drink, when we feel thirsty? Which entryway? It is small in size. Door or window. What does CEO in business stand for? What do we hang on the wall to see the time?
If you want to dress in formals, what would you wear with trousers, shirt, t-shirt, or sweatshirt? If the person is not properly aware, is he conscious or unconscious?